Calvin Fuller is a young boy living in the Los Angeles suburb of Reseda who loves baseball, but is not a good player. He is at a game, standing at bat for his team, the Knights, ready for yet another strikeout. Suddenly an earthquake hits, as the others run for safety. The ground opens up under Calvin's shoes and he falls through the chasm. He eventually lands on the head of a 6th century black knight. Upon hearing of his miraculous appearance, the elderly King Arthur, seeing him as the savior whose appearance Merlin has predicted, dubs the boy Calvin of Reseda and invites him to dine with the court. Calvin begins his knight training under Arthur's top knight, Sir Cain, to help the king retain his crown. When the earthquake hit, Calvin had just grabbed his knapsack, a fact that enables him to dazzle the people of Camelot with his futuristic magic, including an introduction to rock and roll via CD player, and a Swiss army knife. Calvin also shows them how to make inline roller skates. His work wins him adulation and renown, but it also rouses the jealousy of Lord Belasco who will use any means to take over the throne. Meanwhile, Calvin finds himself spending time and developing a crush on young Princess Katie, while her elder sister, Sarah, is secretly in love with Sir Kane. Belasco moves forward with his plans and kidnaps Katie and tries to frame Calvin for murder and tells Sarah that if she does not marry him, Katie will die. As Belasco is about to arrest Calvin, Sarah rescues him, tells him Katie is alive and to find her father and show him the proof. Calvin goes to Arthur and shows the proof of Belasco's scheme. Playing along, Arthur misdirects the knights and helps Calvin escape and they disguise themselves to go rescue. Katie, walking amongst the people. Calvin tells Arthur that Belasco has been stealing from them for years and they think Arthur does not care about them, and Arthur vows to be a better king. Calvin and Arthur find the castle Katie is being held captive. During the fight, Calvin renews Arthur's will to fight by giving him Excalibur, gifted to Calvin by Merlin. They release Katie, but Belasco, second in command, Richard kidnaps her again and holds her hostage over the moat. Calvin uses a laser pointer from his CD player to blind Richard, causing him to fall and save Katie. Arthur knights Calvin as a knight of the round table and arrive back in Camelot to stop Belasco from forcing Sarah into marriage. To take Belasco down for good, Arthur holds a jousting tournament for Sarah's hand. During the tournament, Sir Kane defeats all the opponents and just him and Lord Belasco are in the finals. Belasco uses a magnifying crystal to use the sunlight to beam it into Kane's eyes and nearly knock him out. Sarah runs off in anger and Calvin asks the king to stall Belasco. Belasco is close to declaring his victory if Kane does not return. But Cain does return and faces him in another joust. Belasco knocks Cain's helmet off. But the now headless Cain still jousts and makes a comeback victory by knocking Belasco off his horse. But it is not Cain, it is Calvin. Who pokes his head out from the large armor. Belasco pulls Calvin off the horse and tries to kill him. But the Black Knight that Calvin encountered earlier appears and ambushes Belasco, saving Calvin, forfeiting his victory to the Black Knight. Calvin, Arthur, and all of Camelot are surprised to see the knight is Sarah herself. An astounded but happy Arthur rewards his daughter with the right to choose her own hand in marriage. And she proudly chooses Cain. Belasco is banished from Camelot forever. Now that he has helped Arthur keep the crown, Calvin has Merlin uphold his end of the bargain and send him home. And he sadly bids the king and Katie farewell. He is returned to the 20th century just before the moment when he struck out. 
once he steps up to the plate. This time, he is ready and hits a home run. He is greeted by his teammates, including Katie, and is looked on by King Arthur, who is whittling a piece of wood with a pocket knife, the same knife Calvin gave to him. Merlin catches Calvin's home run and then breaks the fourth wall by stating, taught that kid everything he knows. Quote, 